Aglow with flames and glistening slime, the strange beast looks at you almost expectantly. The bizarre creature utters a series of gurgles. It seems to be gesturing towards deeper in the cavern. The creature warbles incoherently, shaking its bulk towards the bowels of the cavern. The fiery slime creature looms imperiously over you and utters a questioning gurgle. The slime beast's gurgling takes on a more agitated tone. The slime beast growls and lurches forward to attack. Right. I... I just... They do terrible things here. If they think for a second I'm trying to escape again, they'll do to me what they did to him. Not seen. Heard. There's a man over there. They tortured him, questioned him. Seekers. Something about God woken. He didn't know anything. But they didn't care. I heard his screams. I heard something... Eating him from the inside. No, no, no. It can't happen to me. It can't. It can't. It can't. It can't. Outside, the bones are gnashing. In here, the magisters are, are cutting, slicing, grinding, smashing. What to do? What to do? Poor thing. Poor fool. I hope it's an easy death then. Decapitation. Yes, I do wish that for you. No, take care. Take care. Sorcerer! What do you think you're doing, prowling around inside the fort? Or else what? He looks you up and down. Got a nice marble to you, haven't you? Good. My hands have been looking a little on the lean side.
please. <coughs> please. Healing. I need healing. Of course. Of course. There's a boat that can take you into the dunes beyond. Two associates of mine run it. I can show you where. But they'll kill you on sight if you don't know the proper password. Heal me, and I'll gladly tell you. I... I feel it at work upon me already. Thank you, my friend. There is a waterway, a boat. Hand me a map. It isn't far. You'll meet some associates of mine. Tell them Madame Zur sent you, and they'll let you pass. Enough to matter. Not enough to stage a coup. The Void Woken have people terrified. Not only for their lives, but for the very air they breathe, the sun that shines upon them. Dallas and Alexander offer a solution. People need solutions at a time like this. No matter the consequences. Some people, anyway. No, I imagine not. She's the headmistress of an orphanage in the far north. She keeps sorcerer children safe from the Divine Order. I can think of no nobler soul in all the realm. With her help, we've saved countless children from Dallas and Alexander. And we aim to save many more. You've given me a second life. I won't soon squander it. Or forget what you've done. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. I will settle this debt. Muffled sounds suggest that this scuffed old door leads up to the fort's main floor. It's bound to be crawling with magisters. Whatever lies ahead, it has been a pleasure traveling together. The more the merrier. It's been too long since my last bloodbath. Good. Let them try to catch us. Hell, Karen, you said this way was clear. But uh, that's what the log said, sir. No one's all for us to be here. Well, the log was wrong, you idiot. I hope for your sake no one will miss him. The Magister cocks his head, seemingly surprised at what he heard. That's so? Tell me, what do you know about Zor? That she surely is. <laughs> that she surely is. Never was known for her patience, was she? If you're taking this run, the kid'll have to go with you. Feisty one, too. Liable to jump into the canal if you don't watch him close. That right, Han? It'll be all right once you get settled in. We won't delay you. Karen and I have guard duty coming up. At least we won't be late this time. What with Dallas sniffing around for escapees. Good luck to you. The boy stands back from you, steady eyes narrowed in a wary stare. Who are you? I'm Han. So, you helped me out just there and I'd like to return the favour. You want to get out of here? 
I've a boat here with plenty of room. Let's go. There's a place not far from here that's safe enough for our kind. It's out in the swamps. Ain't a home, but you can breathe for a minute and figure out what to do next. Let's go already. Came in to help someone escape and got nabbed before I could sneak back out. I'd ask you the same question, but we're a little short on time here. You're telling me. Jump in the boat and I'll take the oars. A boat? I'd thank the divine, but, well... The sturdy raft bobs in the canal's gentle current. We made it out. Good. Better get a move on to safety before anything spots us. He shrugs and takes a few steps away from you, but hesitates and turns back. Maybe you want to go your own way, but you still need a place to lay low for a while. There's only one place fits the bill around here. I've got some friends there. They're not exactly in tip-top condition, but their shelter's safer than out here anyway. Oh, they're seekers. I don't know what that really means, come to think of it. They're kind, though. Magisters kicked them something fierce, but still they gave me water and bread and shelter when I needed it. You won't stumble across it in the dark, I'll tell you that. It's well concealed from prying eyes. But here, hand me your map and I'll mark the way. Careful where you tread. They don't notice me, most of the time. But I wouldn't lay any bets on your chances. Beasts, spectres, bones, even void woken sometimes. Seen things in here I've never even read about in fairy tales. Even saw a winter dragon once, but I make sure nobody sees me. No offence, but I'm safer alone. I'm small. Quick, too. I can take care of myself better than anybody. Used to it, but... If you make it, ring the bell outside and tell Bahara I sent you. She's not quick to trust strangers. I'm heading there now. I suggest you do the same. Good luck. 